new stories from every TV anime adaptation one after another. Hi it's Takeshi here. This video is, of course, is the mid-October 2023 featured light novel lineup introduction. There are lots of works I'd like to tell you about, so do check it out. This time, the focus is on Gar Bunko, which has a plenty of returning ongoing series debuting their new stories. It looks pretty crowded in the lineup. There are also some works from Denjiki Bunko and Gagaga Bunko that I'd like to share with. These works are a trigger, especially if you're a freshman reader. I hope that you can support me by watching till the end. And with that, let's start the lineup. Firstly, is the new story. The Exile Prince's secret maneuvers the prince abandoned in the demon realm inherits the power of the hero kings and becomes the strongest. The story starts with Rian, a young boy who has survived for 10 years in a demonic realm infested with monsters. His true identity is a former prince who was banished to the demon realm as an abominable child without a crest. Then he finally decides to return to the capital after his sister, Princess Celestia, has been assassinated. But when an unprecedented crisis that engulfs the country attacks the princess, he unleashes the true power hidden within her, the power of the hero. I do fascinated the fact that there hasn't been a touch of harem element in this new story, something which is surprising. But there is more action and underrated power fights, which is somewhat similar with other novel works. This is also the third brand new work from the author Fumikaru Nishijima, after an amazing run of The Unholy Paladin, which spans across 5 volumes and 11 for manga adaptation. I assume this is a one shot, so there might be no indication of a continuation, making it easier of reading. This is the first work in the Garbunko entry I'd like to interest in, it, so I would purchase this. Is it wrong to ask for a phone call? Familiar Chronicle episode Rai Volume 2 Damachi has been doing something meaningless by publishing for 13 consecutive months, but this time, the monthly Damachi series will finally come to an end. I would like to thank the author, Mr. Fujino Amori, for his hard work, in fact, I would like him to take it easy, this time, I would like to say Familiar, which was released in 2017. The second volume of Chronicle episode Ryu is the sequel to Yem Saka's series. Ryu's son's popularity has increased explosively in the fourth season of the anime. In this latest volume, he reunites with the goddess Historia. It seems to be an important episode and must see side story for fans of the series. The Historia familiar area has been explored in depth at Storia Records. The first of the 13 months of continuous sightseeing is the Historia Records episode. Since it was only volume 1, it start with Blue and end with Astria. It's a little sad that we can watch it as well. But I'm looking forward to seeing you with the Machi. The turn for the year. With the power of the scene. I'd like you to take it easy for a while and then publish the continuation of the main story as well. If possible, I'd be happy if you could publish at least one book every six months. Next book is Hikikomori Kikitsuki no Mom in volume 12. A battle comedy fantasy that is becoming Garbunko's signature role for person who like it very much. It's highly recommended series, and it's packed full of interesting things like pop battles, funny comedies, and a little bit of a twist as well. The TV anime is finally starting in October, so it's getting a lot of attention. It's still before the show airs though. I think this is a work with high expectations among the anime based on the autumn light novels. When I look at the people, I feel like they put a lot of effort into the drawing part, and the cuteness and coolness of the main character's troubles really come out, so it's pretty good. The magical work is about a troubled, shadow vampire girl who for some reason becomes a general and reads a bunch of rough ones. And the slash to comedy feel where she gets misunderstood by those around her and the coolness of the battle scenes are amazing. It's a good balance. I don't think it goes well with the anime. I'm hoping that the anime will capture the fun of the original work. The latest volume is a new story that appeared on the It seems like the story will be about trouble confronting the threat, and the battle-like parts are also going to be intense. If you haven't read it yet, I think it's going to get a lot more exciting once it's made into an anime, so please take this opportunity to invite them. I'm so happy. Next, we will pick up titles of interest from the book light novel, and short light novel labels. First of all, this will be released from Gai Novel on October 14th, the 21st volume of Magio no Tabatabu, the latest edition of the popular travel fantasy, The Tourism Pace is Stable, and there are quite a lot of functions, for which Irina visits various countries and meets people. There are many travel-based fantasy light novels out there, but this series has grown to be one of the top in terms of popularity and recognition. 
Basically, it's a series of short stories, so it's easy to read in every way. It's a story that teaches a lot of things, so it's really nice. I think it's a series. If you change the packaging and release it as an automatic book, like the Ascendance of Bookworm, I think it will sell well. It seems like there will be a dog, but what do you think? This latest volume is about protecting your hometown. Two brothers defeating the monster lord, and others does look. It seems that new encounters and farewells await a reader, such as a young man who continues to excavate ruins in the desert, and a woman who is his childhood friend. Also, a special edition of the drama seed will be released at the same time. The price is a little high, 3,500 yen, but it will be limited production, so please do not review the series power. Even if it continues, it will be new from the GA novel. Next, we will pick up titles of interest from the book light novel and short light novel labels. First of all, this will be released from Gay Novel on October 14th, the 21st volume of Maju no Tabu Tabu. The latest edition of the popular travel fantasy, The Tourism Pace is Stable, and there are quite a lot of functions, for which Irina visits various countries in this world. There are many travel-based fantasy light novels out there, but this series has grown to be one of the top in terms of popularity and recognition. Basically, it's a series of short stories, so it's easy to read in every way. It's a story that teaches a lot of things, so it's really nice. I think it's a series. If you change the packaging and release it as an automatic book, like The Ascendance of Bookworm, I think it will sell well. It seems like there will be a dog, but what do you think? This latest volume is about protecting your hometown. Two brothers defeating the monster lord, and others does look. It seems that new encounters and farewells await arena, such as a young man who continues to excavate ruins in the desert, and a woman who is his childhood friend. Also, a special edition with a drama CD will be released at the same time. The price is a little high at 3,500 yen, but it will be limited production, so please do not review the series power. Even if it continues, it will be new from the GA novel. Next up from Dengeki Bunko is Ashura Volume 8. This is the fantasy epic battle story that I've been expecting for. The front cover looked intimidating. It felt we're back to the days where Volume 1 was released. The story this time, the battle between Rukunoka and then Rosgrave faction, ended with Rukunoka eliminated. The only left battle standing is Sojuro the Willow Sword and Verf is the artificial hero. The absolute Rosgrave's finest every story. Every volume was an all-out action with less romance needed, which is why is the reason why this series stands out the most than any other novel works being made like Mushoku Tensei for example. There is no doubt this is a posse. series will be challenging for Konorano 2024 Tanker Bond section. Once again regarding this as well, the anime adaptation will be broadcast on 2024 with Passione and Sans again handling the production. 2024 TV anime will be a lot bigger than this soon. If you like this series, do check this out. And the final from the Dengeki Shin Bungi entry is Unnamed Memory after the end I am. This is a series that I've been wanting a chance of Reddit, as I've heard many good things about it. The anime though, is set to air this 2024, with no date announced. I'm expecting something like the earliest if not by somewhere in the middle. Either way, we'll wait and see. In this third after end, Oscar and Tinasha travel to the eastern continent, to search for the remaining cursed tools. While the situation in many areas is still unstable, they pick up young siblings, the siblings, however, are searching for their missing father and sister, and a certain happy town is born in the footsteps of the mysteriously disappeared family. This third after end story felt slowly began to be like a slow life story, wasn't it? Either way, I haven't seen any peak story level yet as both Oscar and Tina haven't shown any signs of affection towards each other, although it has said both were getting married. Still, I'm expecting more or less something to happen, other than being like wife look alike preparing for a cup of tea. We'll try to observe more closely as the anime adaptation looms near. If you're a fan of this series, make sure to pre-order this. From Gagagar Bunker is the new story, The Empire's 11th Frontline-based magic library is now open. This seems to be a librarian novel story, something that is rare in Gagaga Bunker. The story starts with a battle between the allied forces and the Demon King's army continues endlessly, and humanity continues to fight relying on armies whose main forces are iron and fire and the now rare mystical powers of heroes and magic tools. But the only who resist to join the battle, Caria Alexandra, begins to resist the reality of war. A magic librarian who dislikes war, 
but loves books, seems familiar but looks interesting. Library genres did perform well, but not in Gaga Gunko, but in other labels like Sneaker Bunko or to Books. The atmosphere in this new story was also majestically beautiful, yet it captures the feel of being it read, with warriors and dragons in the mix. I would really want to become a librarian, who doesn't want it anyway. This has now my next purchase in this lineup, we'll be buying this. Shiatayu no Sato San Goyo ni Dekamai. This is the 8th volume of the series from Sawatari Kazami. It's a romance story, that has sweet and salt and flavor combined. Imagine like you're eating sweets. The front cover looks fully Yuri, but actually as the synopsis said, they're in disguise. The story this time, Saito's best friend, Maruka, decides to attend Sakuraba High School, which Sato and his friends attend. Then, Sato's well-intentioned remark causes an unexpected ripple. Ren and Maruka are dating. I do like how every volume in the illustration was like there was an Instagram filter. Very colorful idea, yet beautifully drawn. Regardless of that, the manga will be released on the 12th of October, less than four days away, a bit late for the eighth volume of the novel. The cover looks too hot, any man handle this manga needs extra precaution and care. If you like this series you had to check this out. And lastly, is Incubus Banishment. Even though I got banished from the capital because I received an obscene gift, I leveled up like crazy just from doing perverted things vol 3. A third volume can't be any erotic than this. Basically, every volume this series make is very hot, very luda, expected from Kakao and Akagi Sensei. In this volume, Elio continues his journey with his childhood friend Alicia after receiving an unprecedented perverted gift called Inma. He uses his new skill spear room creation to level up while making friends with Alicia and other strong female characters and meets the beastman Sophia in the dungeon city of Sankri. Before then, his servant showing the beauty of her eroticness. Now we have a beast woman party. It's getting hotter here, isn't it? But in all honesty, beast women do can show that they fight and kill, as depicted in the illustration. But in terms of making affection, they're way better than any normal woman. I won't go into any details of how this goes down. The eroticness was way beyond unimaginable. This is a series that needs to be handled carefully when to pick it up. And so yes, this is the mid-October 2023 light novel releases as a closing closure. It felt like we're getting halfway through of October. There are plenty of great anime adaptation return to make new stories, which I'm really do interested in. What do you think? Which ones are your favorites that you wanted the most? Hit me up in the comments below. That's all for this video. Please do support the channel by smashing the subscribe button and clicking the like button. I do also be happy if you also could watch another video. See you next time. Goodbye.